up everybody? Welcome back to the 31 Days of Horror. I am your host, Mood616, and thank you once again for stopping in, guys. Yeah, day 24 on the 31 Days of Horror Volume 3. And yes, we are going to go all the way back to the year of 1983 with a film called Blood Beat. I have always known about this film, never seen it before. This was a first time watch. Um, as far as I know, this was really kind of hard to obtain on VHS, and also I think it didn't come out until about 1988 also is when it, I think when it got its official release. So this one must have looked even pretty outdated, even 1988, because <laughs> it's from 83, but um, yes, this is a Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray, just came out actually today. Um... <laughs> Alright, so get into the synopsis of this one. Basically, we have like a brother and sister uh, that are basically going to visit their mom for the holiday season, which is, this movie actually does kind of take place around the Christmas season. And um, so the brother, Ted, he also shows up with his girlfriend. And uh, so as soon as like the brother and sister and, and the girlfriend show up, um, now the girlfriend, Sarah, she has like this weird telepathic connection going on with Ted's mom and it's really unexplained like neither person can figure out what's going on it's like she's thinking something or she can feel her mom and vice versa don't really know what's going on so this is kind of going on and stuff like that and they're just you know enjoying the holiday season and then Sarah starts to have like these weird visions and uh, she starts kind of having these strange telepathic I guess visions or something like that and uh, of this ancient Japanese samurai warrior. Yeah, go figure. And so she starts to see this person a little bit, and then all of a sudden people start ending up dead. They're being cut up by this samurai warrior. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the synopsis of the film. <laughs> so my thoughts on this film right here. Wow, Lord, oh Lord. Um, this movie is fucking terrible, but it is uber entertaining. This one definitely falls into the category of it's so bad it's actually good. Man, this movie has so much nonsense going on in it. It is ridiculous. So much nonsensical scenes and just development in this film that it'll make you laugh with every new development in the film. It is so beyond funny. All these telepathical links that, you know, the mother and the the girlfriend have are never explained in this film. The the ancient Japanese samurai warrior, who fucking knows? Where did this person come from? It is the most insanely thought up idea ever for a film. Now, it would have been probably a really decent film, per se, if they had have actually tried to explain a little bit of these connections and, uh, you know, these telepathic wars and these ESP wars that they end up having and things like that. But there's nothing there. This one is just a whole pile of random scenes and every time something happens, you go, huh, why is that happening? Now, if the storyline doesn't sound you know, that crazy to you? <laughs> I can't stop laughing about this film. I laughed so hard through this film last night, it's ridiculous. So when Sarah starts having these visions and stuff, at first you don't realize when the samurai is appearing and, and why he's appearing, but it's because Sarah technically is masturbating a lot. She's flicking her bean. And every time she's playing with herself, this fucking samurai warrior appears and somebody ends up dead. Is that explained? No. Does it need to explain? Probably for a good film. But in this case, no. Because it's fucking terrible. It's a terrible movie. It is so ridiculous. Man, I was howling through this whole thing, man. Like, it was just ridiculous. And to top it off, so you got all these crazy, you know, ESP and telepathic links and stuff. You have this supernatural samurai warrior going around and, and I'm just like, where did he, where did the warrior even come from? How did she conjure up this person or how did he even get involved in this? <laughs> it's like absolutely mind blowing how many questions you were asking yourself, but then you got to keep reminding yourself, who cares? This movie's just ridiculous. 
man, the third act in this movie is the funniest shit I've ever seen. I mean, we're talking effects that were made on the earliest computer in the history of computers. Like, it's just like basically red and blue, like ESP wars and shit. And oh my god, it's you actually have to see it to believe it. I can't explain how ridiculous it is because I just don't have that ability. But this will give you a general idea if you can see that on the back. That's a little bit of taste of what you're going to get for effects in this. Man, getting to the specs of this film, it is... <laughs> it's acted so poorly that you cannot help but shit yourself laughing at it. Pretty much every monologue in this film just makes you want to cry laughing. It's so funny. The mom is so weird in this film. She's like a painter and, and there's even times where she's like painting this this warrior and stuff and I'm like, why is she painting the warrior? I thought it was the, the, the girlfriend. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, Oh my god, the acting in this film is on a different level of bad too. It's like shot on video quality. This movie was not shot on video, but I think if it was shot on video, it would probably be the best one ever because it was very ambitious in what they were doing. But man, oh man, this one. I couldn't help but every time a new scene happened, it was just like, what is going to happen next? I couldn't wait. It was that bad. It was just absolutely ridiculous. Man, really nothing great about this film, but just a whole pile of great laughs. I would have loved to have watched this one with some buddies having some beers and shit, because this shit would have been like Comedy Central here, man. So funny, so ridiculous, so outrageously stupid. Such a bad movie, but I can't help but just recommend it to the people that love so bad it's good films. Man, this one, I mean, even at times it's really annoying, I have to say. The soundtrack was like classical music playing through it. It doesn't fit it at all. It does not fit the film whatsoever. I guess that's what you get when you get a French director trying to do an American slasher. He comes up with this supernatural idea with this with this samurai warrior and doesn't want to explain anything. And so this movie kind of feels like, <laughs> it kind of feels like a supernatural slasher set in like a Western setting. It's set on a farm in like this rural area and it's supposed to be taking place in Wisconsin in during Christmas. And the other stupid thing is, if it's taking place during the holidays in Wisconsin, there should be fucking snow, right? Yeah, there's no snow anywhere. It's ridiculous. Man, this movie just, it, it fails on every possible level. Story to effects to acting, but I'm still gonna recommend this film. Am I gonna give it a good rating? Fuck no. This movie's terrible. I'm gonna give this shit like three and a half, but on a level of entertainment value this was like an eight it was so fun to watch i can't wait to re-watch this movie um with they actually have a commentary from the director i cannot wait to sit down and hear him explain hopefully he explains the movie because all the nonsense that happens in this film i don't fucking know i just don't know um <laughs> i will say Vinegar Syndrome was transfer on it is phenomenal. It looks really damn good. There is a warning before the, the film starts. They're missing like the last minute. It's basically just an out outro shot of like panning out and walking away and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, you know, but I'm going to go with like a three and a half out of ten. It's a terrible film. Uh, you know, you think with a killer like a samurai warrior, the kills would have been really cool and stuff. Not really. I mean, the kills were okay. The blood looks terrible. For a film called Blood Beat, you think the blood would actually not look like that fucking 70s pink or red, but yeah, I don't know, man. Blood Beat, watch at your own risk. You have been warned. It is terrible, but I cannot wait to rewatch that. That was some fun ass shit last night. It had me laughing so hard that when I actually shut it off, I kept thinking about it after. I was like, holy shit, this movie's ridiculous. Ah, oh, man, that was a fun review to do. But, anyways. Blood beat, check it out from day 24, if you wish. <laughs> I don't know. Check you guys tomorrow on day 25. Peace!